CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. You've always been a confident person. It's not a new thing. The first time I ever met you, which was four or five years ago, you were exactly the same. So you've always had this air of confidence about you. Yeah, I suppose it comes from, obviously, um, again, my upbringing. You know, I've always tried to play every, every different shot. I trained um, every day after school. I remember primary school, um, my dad would take me up to the nets and video camera every net session. We'd go back and have a look at it. And right the way through, I always like to watch myself bat and um, just see how, how I can improve and how I can sort of expand my game to another level. Tell me, 25 years of age, Maxi, and you're given a million dollar contract at the IPL auction. That, that is a surreal thing to happen to a young man. Uh, yeah, very surreal. And um, it probably took me back a little bit. I didn't expect it whatsoever. And um, it just didn't sink in. I didn't think that was a price tag that I deserved. I didn't think it was something that was reasonable for the amount of cricket I've played. And I, I felt like it added a lot of pressure at that time. It was an amazing experience going over there and being a part of a winning team in Mumbai in the same change room as Sachin and Ricky Ponting, like stuff a kid dreams about and I was lucky enough to uh, be a part of it and I probably would have paid a million dollars to be a part of that. I've spoken to a couple of your teammates, one uh, that you're very close to, who reckons that you're prone to dropping that million dollar just into a sentence every now and then, Maxie, is this true? Uh, I assume you're talking of Aaron Finch. <laughs> no, I'll, I don't mind dropping it, especially when Finch is getting stuck into me. Um, it's only around him that I sort of, I sort of drop that sort of thing. So he's he's a pretty confident outgoing bloke as well, and he seems to drop his world records uh, every every sentence. So I've got to come back with him something. And what about the opposition? How do they go with it? Uh, you obviously cop a little bit of stick. I think uh, certain nicknames obviously get brought up every now and then, and um, that that sometimes gets to me. Um, probably deep down, I, I don't don't really enjoy some of the nicknames as much as people think they're self-proclaimed and all that sort of thing. It's it's not what I'm about. I'm, I'm all about trying to entertain and, and enjoy my cricket. I, I love, love playing cricket, I always have, and I just love being out there trying to hit, hit balls for four and six, and it's just enjoyable. Well, the nickname you're talking about is The Big Show, and we have a laugh about it. I think everyone does because it's just you know, a good, fun thing. But the message was that came back to us in the media was that you had given this nickname to yourself. Um, true or not true? Not true. It was given to me in my first tour, um, first Australian tour in Dubai. Um, I played a couple of good one day innings for Australia, got us over the line in the third one day against Pakistan and we won the series. Um, and Matt Wade started calling me the Big Show and um, other f a few other nicknames and um, all of a sudden the Big Show started sticking around the change room and people started mentioning the media and um, at the start I thought if I fight it I'm going to have to uh, live with it even more so I, I tried to sort of ride with it. and. Ever since then, it's probably got worse, and I, I just try, I'm just trying to shake it at the moment because it's, it's starting to it's starting to go too far. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a new nickname, maybe just Maxie is fine. All right, so you play all forms. Which one are you most comfortable playing? Which one do you enjoy the most? I probably enjoy one day cricket the most, um, just because of the the way the game's going at the moment with the four fielders out. I find it so much more enjoyable. Um, out there to bat. I feel like you can showcase your skills a lot more. I feel, feel like my bowling suits one day cricket as well. Players aren't coming after every ball and trying to hit an off spinner for six, which is generally what happens in a T20 game. And I feel like I'm, I'm more in the game in a one day game. So. All right, what haven't you done in cricket that you're desperate to do? Um, make a test 100, take a test fifer, make a one day international 100, make a one day international fifer. I want to I do it all. I want to. I want to play 100 games in every format. I want, to, I want to be a part of Australia for the next 10, 12 years or however long I can play at the highest level. And I want to be involved with successful teams. I want to win World Cups with, the, with Australia. I want to win Ashes with Australia. I just want to be around Australian cricket and hopefully remembered for a long time.